Good day guys, welcome to Novel Creative Digital Market Agency. I have to start doing great. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be designing photography banner design in pixel art. So that was much time. Let's get out to the business of today. So the first thing you have to do right now is to change the background color to black, actually or black. Black color blue. So this is actually the black color. So after the black color, you have to go to your color and select the image you want to use. Select as you want to use this image for the for the background. So what do I that do? So the next thing I have to do is I want to move this image to the um to this side. This side actually. So what would I do? The next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to my 3D rotate, then use my Y axis to rotate it. Because you can see it. So after that you can actually do something like this, drag it. So after that, this now to do is to do something like this. So that is how I got this. After that, go to your layer, then you lock it. So after you lock it, next you have to draw it. So you click on your text, then you click on dandy. So then as well, go to use dandy. Sorry, not dandy, Africa. African gold. Okay, let's, let's choose Africa gold. Oh, that's I want to use gold. Use to Africa gold. So what do I do here? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to my font. This EB that is the font. I'm going to change the font to. I'm going to change the font to outfit seven gold. Good. So I'm going to use outfit seven gold. After that, I'm going to play it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to place it here. Good. So, can you see that we are going for good? So, I know that the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my. So, click on this Africa or then you duplicate it. Then you write photography. Photography. Good. But this one now you are going to remove this O, then you give it space. From that space, you have that space good. Then you are going to put it here. So, then you are going to put it on this Africa. So let's get there and then so after that, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my gallery. Then I'm going to go to my phone and I'm going to use this actually this. So let's actually this. So what did I do here? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to um which is it. I'm going to do my work. So that I got to remove the connectivity, I'm going to place it here. So I think this thing still need a little bit more space so let's assume this is actually okay for it. So let's go now. So, so can you see it? And it is aligned. So make sure it is aligned. It is so I'm going to shift it a little bit upward. So, so actually going forward. So can you see it? And so after that the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my test. They are going to write services, so I'm going to write the services so they do the services. So, write it is because write it like this because I'm going to use um advertising font, so which is business I mean, business signature demo. So, I'm going to go to my font, I'm not going to choose business signature demo. Good, then after that, I'm going to go to my color then i'm going to change it to actually red so now the next thing i have to do is to increase the size so you can drag it to the side so actually it is all okay like this very very okay good so just put it like this so after that the next thing i'm going to do is to click on your test they are going to write the the services i have copied it so just let me paste it good so this is it good so i'll this it so after that i'm going to go to my font then I'm going to my outfit seven board so I can see, actually see it. So after that, I'm going to precise it. Good. So let's add to this one is actually open like this. So I can do it first. I'm going to move it somewhere like this. Good. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to click on your plus button. Click on your plus button. Then click on shape, then change it to circle, then give it this actually color so you use it very well. Good. So after you use it, you're going to bring it down here. I have to zoom it again. Zoom it very well. Zoom it. Good. So I'm going to use this now. So after you use it, 
introduced to get good. So I'm going to place it here. Good. So you duplicate it. Then do the same here. So that, that was too much. So 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 this one won't, won't waste our time because if I'm doing something like this, it will waste us. What I'm going to do is to click on my grid. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to move this one up a little bit so that I can use it to align it at the same time. Good. So can you see it right now? So press the operation key. The move is very well. Also this one. Go to the operation key. Good. So the click this one too also. Good. So we are moving forward. Also this. Good. So this. So let's check what we just did right now. So you can see everything is plumping. Good. So what are we going to do right now? And everything is plumping, but there's actually something we want to do. So there are some that are still need that still need adjustment. So like this, actually need adjustment. Also this one need adjustment. So let's check on it now. Good. So what is the next thing we are going to do? So the next thing we are going to do right now is click on the button. Click on shape. Click on shape. Actually, this one. Then you click on gradient color. So you click on the gradient color. You click on your plus button now. So actually, this is what I want to use. So you click on this. This is the upside. This one is the upside. So what are we going to do right now? So the next thing I'm going to do right now. So you click here now. Then this place change it to this stuff like this good. So and this place is the downside. You click on it. Then change it to actually red. So that I don't want to use red for it. So good. Good. So I'm not actually this red, so I'm going to change the color to something, something like this. Good. So let's check now. So we see this. What I actually need. So what am I going to do right now? So now let's, next time I'm going to do right now is to do something like this. Then I'm going to put it here. So can you do it? But I have to do something. Try something like this so that it won't show. Good. So can you see it? So. Actually, we are moving forward. So, what is the next thing we are going to do? Right nice. Next, I'm going to do is to lock it. Lock it. Good. So, the next thing is nice to click on your plus button. You click on shape. So, after you click on shape. Good. So, sorry, guys, let's continue. How about tutorial? So, what is the next thing I'm going to do? So, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on this shape right now. So, do this. Then, you place something around there. Good. Keep something like this. Good, then you give it red color. So after you give red color, then you go to your page, then you reduce your page a little bit. So good. So actually, it's actually okay. So you can shift it back then a little bit. Good. So after that, the next thing I go to do is to lock it, lock this one. So after you lock it, the next thing I go to do right now is to click on this your shape. Ah, uh, if if you check very well, this is not your favorite. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do something like this. So you can actually let increase it good so you can show so you can see that it's showing good so you can lock it back so let's go back so after that the next thing i'm going to do right now is to click on your plus button click on shape then you so you increase the radius to something like 14 14 14 or 15. good so after that you actually do something like this it's too small so let's place it here yeah, you place it somewhere around here. So, but like, just enlarge it like this. So after that, next I'm going to do now. You see that you've increased the radius to 14. Don't forget it's 14. Then you reduce the opacity. Then you go to your stroke now. You increase the stroke something to 
5 to 6 so let's assume 6 is okay so after you increase the stroke so what is next i'm going to do next i'm going to do now is to go to your texture stick click on the stroke sorry on the shape go to your texture then i'm going to give it a texture like this so let's assume this is the texture i want to give to it good so i'm going to click on this so now i'm going to target this area where, where this float is Good. so let's let's check it so can you see it's good so what is the next thing we are going to do right now so the next thing we are going to do right now is to click on this first button again shape then you give it radius of 14 back so can you see it so for that now what i'm going to do now still do something so now we are going to place it here now just make sure it's on top of this one tell the same thing so you're telling the same thing here Something like this. Good. So now I'm going to do something like this. Give something like this. Good. So let's check it now. So after I check it, just move it to the back of this one. So let's check it's going to work out. Good. So it's going to work out. So what are we going to do right now? So the best thing now is to lock this one. Good. Then you cl click on this one. Then you give it what they call it. You give it texture. That is the image you are going to be using. So I'm coming. Let me go to my pins. So actually, the the uh, the image is in pins. So. Okay, it's my download. So let's assume this is the first one I gave to it. The first one. Good. So now we're going to crop it a little bit. Crop it. Good. So can you see? Actually, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to click on this one. Yeah. Duplicate it. Then you move it down here again. So you go to your texture again. Then you give it another texture. So let's assume I want to give it this texture now. Let's assume this is the texture I want to give it. Good, so can you see it? So after that, you move to the back also. Good. So, what is the next thing I'm going to do? So, the next thing I'm going to do right now. Actually, this is not the, um, the font, sorry, the texture I gave it the other one. So let me change the texture of this one. Actually, let me get to be using this one, actually. So let's check on this one now. This is going to work out. So, go back to your texture. Let's check. Good. So actually, okay, like this, I'm going to, I'm going to do something like this very well now. Good. So let's continue. So it's actually, okay. So what is the next thing? So the next thing is to copy it again, duplicate it, then you move it here. Good. So I'm going to give it another texture, and this actually the texture. Good. So there's no need to crop this one. It's actually fitting. So I'm going to my texture increase the scale a little bit. Good. So the next thing that I'm not doing this is to just. So the next thing is to duplicate it. Yeah, when you duplicate it, then you put something around there. So now the next thing now is to go to your texture, put your texture, then you duplicate it. Sorry, then you give them that texture. So I'm thinking the texture should be around pink. So I'm going to look for the texture. So let me go around that texture. I'm going to give to it. Actually, this good. So I'm giving it this. So I'm going to my scale and scale it a little bit. Good. So I'm going to move this one up. Just like press it, then you move it up. So they will be go to the back. Good. So can you can see that everything, everything has fit in. Good. So that is the next thing I'm going to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click on your gallery, then you give it download. So go to my download. I'm going to give it actually this stuff. This stuff, this African map. So what I'm not going to do right now. The next thing I'm going to do is to place it here. Good. So after I place it there, what I'm going to do is to go to my texture again. Yeah, I have dealing with texture today. So when you go to your texture, then um this image, I think this image can be yeah. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to target this breast area. Then I'm going to yeah, I'm going to where the where the, where the clothes is actually. I'm going to target it. Good. So can you see it? So I'm going to reduce it a little bit, then I'm going to place it here. Good. So what is the next thing I'm going to be doing? So move it down a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to click on my gallery. 
then I'm going to go to my download then I'm going to give it this let assume this is the logo this is the logo so you change the logo color to this to this actually then I'm going to put it here or you can give it gradient color if you have a PTV gradient color you can totally give it give it to it so let's check on this if you can actually say a gradient color of it in Let's try this present color if you can see it. And that one that will fit in. That will fit in this. As you the logo, we just put the logo here. So the next thing you have to do right now is to click on this portrait, then you duplicate it. You just do this one, then you write for booking. For booking. And that does. So just leave it like this. So after that, just come back to here, then you do something like this. Good. Then you can actually increase the little bit. Place it here. Good. So after you're done, the next thing is to just click on this shape. So you bring it down here. Make sure it's at the top of this shape. Then you do something like this. Then you increase. Sorry. Then you decrease it. So let let check it. If it's on top of the shape, it's not on top of the shape. So now you're just doing decrease a little bit. Decrease it here. Yeah. Good. Do something like this too. Then okay it. So can you see right now? So what's next thing we're going to do now is just to copy this one. So let's move this one a little bit. So go to your position key. Then put you on the river. Good. So let's check now for booking contact us. So what is next I'm going to do? The next thing I'm going to do right now is to click, click on for booking now. Duplicate it. Then you can write your number. So let's assume this is my number. Let's assume zero. Three eight eight seven seven two zero nine. Then zero zero is zero eight four one eight six six seven four. So let's add up this number. So what I'm going to do right now? So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to place it. So after placing it here, the next thing now I'm going to make sure it is right now. So the next now is to copy this one. Just copy the number. Then you write. At up uh, Facebook, don't write Facebook. Let us give it this Facebook, Facebook handle. Then give it. Then you write at Africa, Africa, Africa to Africa photo. Then as soon they give it the Instagram number, also Instagram or handle name. So Instagram. At also, let us on the same thing at Arika Photo. So just click on that, then you come here to place it here. So, and there's something which I just thought I was going to just give me this one a little bit. Is this one this contact you need to come down a little bit? So let's work on them. This, okay, actually, okay. So now it's actually so we're going to work on So I'm going to position very well. Good. Also this. It's, it's actually okay. Good. So the next time we to right now is to click on this. Click on this, this, then you duplicate it. Then I'm going to place it down. Go to your uh, place it position, then you place it down. Good. So you can go to your position key right now. Then you move it up. So let's check it. So can you see it? Actually, okay. So this, so this, how oh, I got this, um, this design. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like videos and don't forget to share for people who actually like this video thank you for watching up till now thank you so actually save it as image save it as uh
as PNG and as very uh, ultra. So thank you for watching.